Connor, I've got Cyril Carvana in my ear singing the banks. It's uh, a lovely sound when you're on the right side of that result. Uh, yeah, we're, uh, we're delighted, Marcus. Uh, I suppose at half time, there's a lot of questions asked inside that dressing room, and in fairness, we left the boys at it themselves, we left them sorted out. And um, they said what they were going to do in the second half, and look, five minutes into the second half, they done exactly that. And uh, I suppose the start of the second half, we were two points up, and next time we were six or seven points up, and game over at that stage. And uh, we're delighted with the way the boys responded. Does that speak volumes for the type of character that you have in that dressing room that you and Ronan and the rest of the management team can step away and leave them at it and sort out and figure it out from themselves nearly? Yeah, look, uh, there we've had tight games all year. Like uh, Every game we won, we were behind and uh, finished strong. And we said that at half time that, like, that if we were there with 10 minutes to go, that we were going to take it. So uh, the boys know that and they're trusting each other. Um, Look, the five of us are there to accommodate them and try and get as much out of them as we can and that happens at training. We just ask them to bring it to the game then and get uh, get everything that they do at training out in the field and today they look, they did it. Um, the fitness levels were unreal and the hurling there for a finish was very good as well when we upped the pace a bit. Um, so look, we're delighted for them fellas because we 40 in a panel and it's very hard to cut it down to 24 today of a match. And like number 40 is as important as number one to us there. Um, they've all put in a fierce effort since last October so it is brilliant that they get their rewards. Was some start to the second half, 1-6 with right reply? Yeah, you see the man that was driving it there was Mullins again. Like He was outstanding uh, on that when he stepped up, being O'Connor stepped up. I hate single out fellas, but the, the big fellas stood up again today. And like we fired in five subs again, like they all edited it again. So look, we're just delighted. And you see what it means to the fellas over there now. Like uh, It is a long time since there was number 20 celebrated like that. You can blame me so for yeah. refocusing on Michal Mullins because it's his third year at this level and he captains his county up to the steps there. I mean, it gets dream stuff. Oh, yeah, you should see this fellow Trey and I. He's a fierce leader. Um, anything that he has to do, he'll do it. He does a lot of stuff behind the scenes then as well just to keep driving fellas on. He keeps fellas focused. And uh, I, from day one, as soon as you see this fellow above a train, you say captain material all day long. Ben, finally, what's it mean for Cork? You've got your, I, sorry, I presume you're two young lads there beside yeah, I, you, I, but like, what does it mean for you and your family and the wider clubs that have supported you all year? Ah, sure, look, I think we've 16 or 17 clubs involved with the whole country scored, or county scored for players. So we were the opinion starting out that we weren't looking at who, who was from what club. We decided we'd just pick the best 40 fellas that we could. I think we've done that, like, and um, for Cork only it's great. Like, I know we were beaten last Sunday, we were disappointed over that, that we're out to the senior championships so early, but look, this is a stepping stone for a lot of these fellas and hopefully we'll see them in the raid playing senior next year. Ben Gramilamag, that's the Kodama today and indeed over the